One of the most terrifying and weirdest objects in space are black holes, some regions of space where the pull of gravity is so strong that no one can escape, not even light. Although the existence of black holes is fully proven and has a scientific explanation, the existence of possible white holes has long been denied, at least until mankind released the powerful James Webb telescope into space, which could prove once and for all their existence. But what are white holes supposed to be and how are they different from black holes? In this video, we are going to answer all these questions and help you learn about one of the most incredible and interesting phenomena in space, which could revolutionize space research. When you hear about a NASA telescope, you imagine a base from which to observe the stars and planets from Earth. However, the James Webb Telescope goes beyond this concept, since it is not a ground-based telescope but a space telescope that can observe planets, stars, galaxies, and other celestial bodies from space, allowing us to see at greater distances. To fulfill this purpose, space telescopes have a satellite-like design, which allows them to hover in orbit while recording everything that happens around the Earth even those things that are at an unimaginable distance. But the James Webb Telescope is not just any space telescope. It is one of the most impressive space observatories in history, launched after 30 years of development for $10 billion. Since the high temperatures of the sun could affect the operation of the telescope and even damage it, the James Webb has a solar shield that allows it to keep itself and its instruments protected. Its observation point is almost 1 million kilometers from the Moon and the Earth, making it one of the most incredible works of space engineering of all time. With an estimated lifetime of 20 years, the capacity of information and knowledge that we will be able to gather will be unprecedented. Before the arrival of the space observatory, our species relied on a telescope known as Hubble, which launched in 1990 to fulfill a 15-year mission. However, after three decades of collecting data, the Hubble allowed us to get closer to the universe than any Hollywood movie ever could. It was thanks to this telescope that researchers were able to observe the creation of black holes, a phenomenon to be feared and respected that could be related to white holes. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, black holes are a space phenomenon with an absolute attraction capacity, but they also have enormous destructive power. Black holes can devour giant stars and planets the size of Jupiter as if they were snacks you bought at the supermarket, making them one of the most powerful objects in the universe. As if that weren't enough, they are also completely invisible due to their ability to devour all light, so you could end up traveling into one of them without even noticing. A terrifying thought which I am sure scares even the bravest of experts. Every galaxy is believed to have a massive black hole at its center, which along with smaller holes found throughout space, sow terror throughout the universe. Knowing this, despite having a similar name, black and white holes couldn't be more different. While black holes absorb objects, white holes are characterized by the opposite phenomenon, as they can expel matter from their interior. Nevertheless, it is one thing to distinguish them through theory and another to identify them through practice. If you were to observe a white hole from a distance, it would look exactly like a black hole, except for its behavior about its surroundings. Naturally, if you were in space, the last thing you would want to do would be to get close to one of these phenomena because of how lethal the encounter could be. Just as nothing can escape from a black hole, there is a theory that nothing can enter a white hole due to its repulsive force, which would make it impossible for us to know its interior, if any unmanned human spacecraft would be able to survive it, making them utterly terrifying. Just imagine being in space and encountering an invisible object dropping the remains of a planet on your spaceship. Fortunately, even if they cannot be seen, black and white holes can be identified due to their gravitational influence, so we will have some ways to defend ourselves from them by avoiding them. Among their main differences, researchers have been curious about the existence of these two opposite phenomena, making hypotheses and theories about their relationship more abundant, creating more questions than answers. Questions that, with the James Webb Telescope, we might be able to answer. 
In the 1970s, there was a very fashionable theory that talked about the existence of wormholes. While black holes represent the end where matter enters, white holes would represent the end where matter is ejected, being completely connected. Just imagine what we would be capable of if this theory were true, using black holes as sort of portals to instantly travel across vast distances in the universe. If, of course, we could use white holes to travel back. For if that were not the case, we might end up stranded in another galaxy or another corner of the universe with no chance but to face certain death. Of course, there is another problem adjacent to the wormhole theory, and that is that while black holes have been proven by science, white holes remain a theory. Even if they are supported by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes long before they were discovered, no one has seen a white hole in existence, at least for the moment. On the other hand, to better understand these phenomena, we need to find an explanation for their formation. Today we know that black holes form when a star of a size of more than 20 solar masses exhausts the fuel in its core and collapses under its weight. This collapse triggers a supernova explosion that ejects the outer layers of the star's outer layers, giving us a black hole. However, science has not been able to determine how a white hole could originate. And that is where James Webb comes in. When it comes to seeing things in space, no telescope compares to James Webb. Even if we don't currently know much about white holes, we don't have to forget that black holes required 40 years of research before they were found in their present state, so there is no reason not to believe in their existence either. If we rely on Einstein's theory of general relativity, which has helped us understand the workings of space even before the first spacecraft left the stratosphere, white holes could be the answer to explain where what black holes absorb goes. However, science is all about questioning everything around us, even those things we think we understand, making it so important to back up our beliefs with real evidence. Fortunately, the James Webb Telescope not only can find black holes, but it also has the potential to unravel the very origin of the universe, being able to observe objects more than 13.6 billion light years away. So if there are white holes out there, you can be sure that with this technology, NASA will be able to discover them. With only a few weeks in operation, the James Webb has a lot of things to test and discover, so this could start an era of space discovery. And I think the discovery of white holes will be just the beginning. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, let us know what you would like the next video to be about. We'll be reading you in the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for future updates. See you soon.